I'm Strong Bad, and we're gonna play some Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people, aka SBCG for AB. <coughs> and that voice is very difficult to keep up. But here we are. I'm Katie, and it's time to play Episode One, Home Star Ruiner. That is not the same thing as near automata, which is what my cursor was on. Bring up that frame. Bring up that strong bad. You should be able to hear it. Now you should be able to see it. All right. We got this. All right. Sabug of four up. Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. No game! You game! You game! No game! <laughs> Save load! Saving and loading! Save load! Wait, is it my turn? No game! Uh, so here we go. Feeder. Uh, oh, I, 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 I was dreaming about muffins. I wake up every morning feeling awesome. Even though I slept on the remote again last night. Ow! Time to tear up another day! This strong bad freaking way! Like an imploding star, like a burning car! My style shines so bright! Please, stop trying to handle my style, cause you can't! No you can't! Uh, handle my style! Seriously, quit trying to handle my style, unless you're a lady! Oh. Then you're cordially invited to have a giant slice of my style! I like to I'm imagine he starts email, every day my that email, way. My email. I'm gonna check my what? Dear Strong Bad, I've got a question. If you hate Homestar so much, why don't you just beat the snot out of him? Are you chicken or something? Confust, N-E-M, Frenchtown, California. First of all, I don't think a Frenchie like yourself is in any position to be calling anyone chicken. Comprendez-vous, cordon bleu? Secondly, I'm pretty sure I don't want to beat the snot out of Homestar. I mean, have you ever listened to the guy? He's obviously got a lot of gunk up there. I could probably handle beating the tar, the stuffing, or the into next week out of him, though. I bet I could find Homestar down at Coach Z's track, running in place or something. All right. As you can see, today is Tuesday 12. Today's the day I finally give Homestar his long overdue pummeling. And no loafing. I put up that sign, but the stupid walls are still loafing all the time. I can't unplug the Lappy. It takes five to seven business days to fully charge the battery. Lappy don't charge on weekends. <laughs> That's where I keep discs 1 through 24 of all my favorite games. Ah, my trusty steed. Stooley, I'd ride you into email battle any day. Give me the emails, Lappy. Chama lama dinga lama duma lama dama ow. All right, we've got one email. You got a star on there so he knows it's where you punch the home star. Yes. Dear Strongman, is it true that you're going to be beating the snot out of Homestar soon? Because I'd like a piece of that action. Taking the under over, Dan of Mira, Country Croc, Ireland. El Delito Grande! <laughs> so... Hey, Strong Sam, you in there? Yes. 
Come on, let me in. I just want to punch you a few hundred times. Not interested. Come on, strong son. I've got your favorite food. Some nasty ethnic food. <laughs> I don't believe in favoring one food over another. So that's not going to work. Strong said, Raymond Jenkins, you open this door right now or I'll, I'll, I'll. You'll what? Oh, we'll just wait till your father gets home and see what he says. You're not even my real mom. Fine. I didn't want to go in your purple room of doom and gloom anyway. He's got a point. Strong Bad's not his real mom. Did you just write sloshy upside down at me? God. Hit me with your best food shot, fridge of mine. The only thing in here is some paleolithic fluffy puff mayonnaise. Looks like some fat buddy needs to go to the store. It was my turn last time. Well, we can't take that fluffy puff mayo. I can't use the wavy mic. Its door's stuck shut with nacho entrails and mangled action figures. I'll do the dishes once our skeet shooty flinger gets fixed. Not a not a bad thing to do. You gotta see it when Strongman shotguns one of these things. Let's just see what's in the old CD spinner. Oh, it's Strong Sad's copy of the best of Brit Pout, the 90s years. <laughs> that smoke detector hasn't had a battery since that day I made Strong Sad eat a 9 volt po' boy. Sometimes I like to stand in front of my window and start flexing in case a girl's volleyball team is walking by. There are worse plans, Strong Bad. So at this point, I'm just looking at everything because the dialogue is top notch. The Luxa Lounger is even more comfortable in its ridiculously overextended mode. The Luxa Lounger is great for all my lounging based needs, but man, does it take up a lot of real estate. Old horse the loneliest goat sees the last sunset last. That's a horse. <laughs> the cheat. Watch your freaking back, Squeaky. Man, that's one intimidating hush puppy. Let's see what else. Here's Strong Bad's room. You know what I need to add some much needed hua to my day? A little thing I like to call Teen Girl Squad. Teen Girl Squad! Cheerleader! So and so! What's your face? The ugly one! Okay, gals and gal related girls, we fit to look so good. Yeah, the same! <laughs> At the sub JV basketball game tonight, all the cute boy pieces will be there. And maybe sloppy seconds for you! Well, let's, uh... Let's, uh... Ringtone. On... Cheerleader. This new Brain Creek ringtone is hot! Jugga jigga wugga ding. Oh dang, was that Brain Creek? I love cheese. I mean Brain Creek. <clears throat> now she has a rat. Let's put a uh let's let's give a text message to what's her face. Ding doodle ding doodle ding! It's a text message! Maybe it's a boy! No, just me. Mm. Uh. Walking well, is like a didn't like that show one. for shoes. A fashion show for shoes. Clearly, we need to to tanning oil. Someone. Gotta put on some sunscreen. Ooh, SPF negative fifty. And then let's throw some hairspray on. 
Come Guess along, what? everyone! I gotta crisp these bangs up with some ozone killer hairspray! Later on the game! Uh, I'm not very good at this. Type. Gotta look good despite my hairless legs. Nothing impresses like a chest pass. He's on fire! Fundamentals! <laughs> Hey, she died. Kissy face. Put one on me, basketballer. I like the way you dribble up and down the court. Coach says girls are a detriment to my game face. And I should spend more time in the showers. Teen boy stink! Perfume. Boys love pubescence perfume. Accentuate the awkward. Um, now let's basketball. Hey, basketballer, I made it bought this for you. <laughs> Sweet, watch my white layup drills. Triple doubled. <laughs> it's over. All right, all right, it's getting there. But it still needs more sugar. And by sugar, I mean grizzly deaths. Ooh, or grizzly deaths. 12 points. So yeah, that's a cute little mini game. Man, Not necessarily I can never get game, enough but... of that sassy, injury-prone teen girl squad. The only thing that could possibly make their adventures even more unfortunate would be if I used those really cool teen girl squad ideas I jotted down last night after a fried chicken pizza bender. Oh uh, no! What to all my really cool teen girl squad ideas? They're gone. Girl squad. No, 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 we don't, we don't need to do this again right now. All right, the Tarantula Black Metal Detector. I had to sell like 500 magazine subscriptions to get this baby, but it was totally worth it to be able to shoot radioactive positrons into the Earth's crust in search of rusty pennies. Ah, the short-lived 7-track. Your lack of a play button was your undoing. Nothing like a little snake fisticuffs to clear the mind. Okay, show me that logo! Do, 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 do. Awesome! Snake Boxer 5! Alright! So much better than the unfortunate Snake Boxer 4, Lady Snake Parade. I also forget pretty much everything I've done after a bunch of fried chicken pizza. You're not alone. Alright, control to punch. Come here, snake. Oh yeah. The hit detection isn't great. I've been bited! Body punch! I mean, snakes are pretty much all body. Take that! Yeah, I'm pretty much the coolest. Oh no. Ooh, right in the face! Stop trying to get the first base with me! I'm snake boxing. Ah! Oh no, I've been snake boxed. Yes, I am awesome. A zeroth generation system. Upper blow! Oh. Your Cobra style is no match for the way of the drunken five pixel power punch! Oh. Look at me in the eye, brows! I like the uh that the boxer has blue hair. Come 
Kapow! Because, you know, you gotta have blue hair. And the snake goes down! Ooh, we're up to red snake. This screen is not big enough for the two of us. I mean, that's pretty much literally true. No way! Kapow! We got this. Got him. Hard. Up to orange snake. Some dodging on that snake. Oh. Where's the hot girl that tells me what round it is? Oh, I see her. I think she's that box. Your Cobra style oh. is no match for the way of the drunken five pixel power punch! I will box this snake. Ooh, right in the face! Upper blow! Taste my Got god, him. snakey! Oh shit, pink snake! Body punch! I don't think I'm gonna make it through this one, folks. Oh! Oh, there we go. Game over. This game sucks. That was awesome. The only thing that could make Snake Boxer 5 even cooler is using that secret code to unlock the game's controversial hidden mode. It's a good thing I wrote down the code in the manual, right? Over. Hey, who took my Snake Boxer 5 manual? The deadliest and most euphemistic of reptiles. Huh, there's a the cheat here. Quiet, you! Hey, look at that thing over there! <laughs> Only Strong Sad seems to know the secrets of these mysterious mechanical devices. Those are pendants from various academic institutions, unaccredited and discredited alike. I like the idea of two strips university. Keep on keeping my butt print warm for me, couch. Hey, it's that infomercial for the Ab Aber 2000. It claims you can get a nine pack in less than 40 scribbles a day. I can't play Trogdor until someone gets off their pasty white butt and fixes the joystick. I'm working on it, but the parts are on back order. Lame. <laughs> Only strong sense. Holy pixelated truck door. What's that? Every time. <clears throat> gotta, gotta get into character there, right? If you see the cheat, you kick the cheat. Nothing there. Quit kicking the poor the cheat. Let's see. Inventory. Getting warmer. 
Uh -huh. Oh my! The detector has detected something with its illegally powerful rays! I'll just leave this treasure marker here so I'll know where to dig later. I can't wait to beat the snot out of Homestar. I should sell tickets. Check out my snail mail, check out my snail mail. Hmm, what's this? I'm ready for the big heist. Those smoky red laser beams don't stand a chance when I'm in this getup. Hmm, I think I'll put it in my fancy schmancy trans-dimensional photo booth wardrobe. Yeah, it's lucky he has one of those, isn't it? Let's see. Now, where should I put the track on my map? Let's put the track way down here. Well. All right, Homestar. I'm not sure why this never occurred to me before, but some French guy said I should beat you up. And I tend to think he's right. Put up your dukes! Oh, hello, strong man. Are you here to watch the race? A race? You mean like a race race? Race race race? You haven't heard about the free country USA triannual race to the end of the race? It's only the coolest and most important sporting event in the history of sporting events I'm about to compete in ever! A race, eh? You know, beating you in a race would be almost as much fun as beating you senseless! I'd like to see it try, strong man. I've been trading my tweets off for weeks now. And besides, Marzipan has promised me a big victory party after I win. Did someone say, party? Oh, heck yeah! Marzipan's putting together a huge party with floats and cake jugglers and balloon manimals and- And why was I, Lord High Awesome Party, occasionally known as Strong Bad, not invited? Whisperingly, I don't think Marzipan likes you very much. You wouldn't happen to know what happened to my Snake Boxer 5 manual, would you? I borrowed some of it from Strong Sad to read on the train. And by train, I mean toilet. Gross. But then I gave it to Marzipan for some papier machapie project she's working on. <laughs> Grosser! Come on, that party'll be deader than a million doornails without me. I'll see if I can get you on the list. You know, I bet I could win this race. That's cute. Keep dreaming, tiny legs. Did someone say, and why? Okay, I already heard that. All this race talk has intrigued me. I believe I will postpone your pummeling for, for now. now. Pummeling? Hold on, I gotta take this. Yes, Marzipan? Yes, 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 yes? No, yes, yes. I miss you too, Puddin' Sack. See you after the race. Bye. Girlfriend troubles? Nah, me, bro. Marzipan just wanted my opinion on the decorations. And the cake jugglers. And the play of the lowlands toad we- Pardon me. I'm off to the locker room to reacquire my game face. Not a happy home star. Looks like it skipped there. Not sure what that was about. It's my first time playing this PC version, so played it on the Wii before and it was very um crashy. So this is better so far. Homestar's cell phone is finally mine. Now I can change all his speed dials. Muhuhaha. Muhuhaha. Let's see. Well, let's call, like, everyone except Marzipan. Pom, 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 pom. Hello there, Balloon Man. This is Homestar Wano. Please don't beat me too bad. We're in the waste to the end of the waste today, okay? Hello, Trek. 
attractive women, you'll be stronger. <laughs> if you're not an attractive woman, please hang up the phone. If you are an attractive woman, please purchase a hot tub and some pork rinds and invite me over. See you in your dreams. What a cat. Hi, Swangbat. This is Homestow. I'm an attractive woman and I bought a hot tub. Come on over. <laughs> that was more than a little weird. <laughs> the cheat has a phone? Who knew? Hey, the cheat. This is totally homestyle. Can you come to my house and gnaw my face off? And steal my boombox and leave it at the drop point? Bye! Sometimes I like to get creative with my mission assignments for the cheat. Dial B for Bugs. Hi, people. Welcome to Bugs Concession Telestale. For calendars, press one. For tires, press eight. For supporters, press star. I can't prank a phone tree. Besides, the last time I navigated Bub's telestand, I wound up with a crate full of rhino horns. And not even the endangered kind. Right. Gorsh, I couldn't have ordered a better day for a race. Uh, these are all the props for the race, including the trophy at the end of the race. That's one cretaceously big trophy. It dang well should be. It's the silver trophy of Ultimate Destiny, awarded to the winner of the Free Country USA triannual race to the end of the race. Of course it is. There are definitely dick jokes in this game, yes. I'm not sure that was so one of bad. them. <laughs> but they exist. Go see. What's the good word? No time for jibbers or jabbers right now, strong bad. I gotta make sure this race goes off without a hitch. Tell me more about this race of which you speak. Haven't you heard? It's time for the Free Country USA triannual race to the end of the race. Oh, what now? You know, the F-C-U-T-R-E-R. -E Every three the years, Fakutra. the greatest athletes in the world gather to pit their pits against the most grueling obstacle course devised by man or beast. All in the hopes of winning the coveted Free Country USA triannual race to the end of the race, silver trophy of ultimate destiny. You mean the F-C-U-T-R-E-R-S-T-U-D? -E the Fakutra stud, exactly. <laughs> After talking to my bad buddy Homestar, I, Strong Bad, have decided to compete and dominate the Free Country USA triannual race to the end of the race! Where's that starting line? Well, now that's gonna be a bit of a problem, Strong Bad. The deadline for entering the race was over a month ago. What? In fact, there are only two official entrants in this year's race Homestar and Pom Pom. Not exactly a clash of the titans there, coach. Yeah, maybe we should have put up some flyers or something. So all a guy has to do is win a stupid race to get that really kick-awesome trophy? Not even close! In order to prove themselves worthy of the Free Country USA triannual race to the end of the race silver trophy of Ultimate Destiny, da -da -da -da, you gotta beat the best time of all the previous trophy winners. Well, that sucks. What's the best time? As it just so happens, yours truly got the best time, way back in 1999. Check it out! Coach Z, 22 seconds. Hey, don't mess with that camera! It's a sensitive instrument! Check in the locker room. Oh, we got a new message. I wonder if getting into Homestar's roomy head would increase my chances in the race. Ready for the big race to the whatever? Almost. I've warmed up, showered, and plucked my eyebrows. 
Now I'm just going through my pre-waste psychomups. I know exactly how to tell you this, man, but you reek. Really? I just took a power shower a few minutes ago. Well, let me check. Nope. Ah, fresh as a biscuit. Sounds like one of those smelt slash delt situations to me. <laughs> Not that I care, but how are the plans for your stupid moron party coming along? Babu no, but it's been at least two minutes since Marzipan called me, so I assume it's going great. I mean, you don't got this your phone. Fight, give me the gym, Lise. See ya. Fight or flight, big champ. No turning back. You made the sandwich, now step in it. Well, let's head out. I've got half a mind to go over to Marzipan's and give her a piece of the rest of my mind about not inviting me to her sucko party. But where should I put her house on my map? Right next door. Don't touch the balloons. Do you know how hard it is to find eco-friendly mylar? I do not. Hey, where'd your stupid ficus go? I was gonna pee on it. I've temporarily transplanted Credenza indoors so that he won't get trampled or peed on by clumsy partygoers. They hate each other because they live next door to each other? I mean, it makes some sense. I don't know much about shrubbery, but I know an unclipped red-headed step hedge when I see one. Ah, uh, much better. I think this little patch of ground's already horked up its share of treasure today. Whoa, that is one seriously ginormous version of Homestar. Do you like it? The paper is made from 100% vegetable products from my prize-winning organic garden. I always suspected Homestar was a big vegetable. Hey! That shrub out front looks like it's made out of the ugly sticks that someone beat it with. Isn't it just the saddest thing you've ever seen? I'd trim it, but my head shears are in the shop. The head shears fixing shop? Well, Bub's concession stand, but he likes to call it a shop. Homestar tells me that you've got my Snake Boxer 5 manual. Oh yeah, I was going to use it in my Homestar float. Ah! Not to worry, I gave the manual to Coach Z. He likes to look at the pictures. <laughs> I heard an ugly rumor that there's going to be a party here and I'm not invited. Oh, that's not a rumor. Good! It's a cold hard fact. But, uh, why? Do you remember what happened the last time I invited you to a party? Behold! I am Lord Burglebroth! Come for your souls! All will kneel before my style! Look out! <laughs> no, not really. That figures. Nice dorkerations, Marzipan. Hey, I've been working on those for a week. Week is right. Maybe you should have tried working on them for a strong. <laughs> hey, yo. Uh... Go away, strong bad. Did you make all these decorations? That's so sweet of you to ask. Why, yes. All of these party decorations were handcrafted by me, myself, and I. I grew the bamboo for the tiki torches in my underground terrarium, ground the paint pigments for the victory banner from a variety of rose petals in my garden, and completed a three-week course in ironworking at the local community college so that I could hand smelt the cute little homestar float over there. Wow, that was a lot of words. That is dedication. That's what that is. I can't believe you're throwing such a big party for such a small brain. 
Who? Oh yeah, Homestar. Well, I was just planning to throw a big party celebrating my award-winning organic vegetable garden, but no one seemed to want to come to that. So I added Homestar into the mix, and now everyone's coming. Ahem. <clears throat> Almost everyone. Thank you. <laughs> hey, look at the invisible time. Bye now. Bye, Marzipan's Sarah. crafty. Yeah, she she sure is. Mmm, ripe, stinky onions. I better pick a few in case I need to make an emergency stew later on or something. Victory for Homestar Garden Victory Party. Victory for Homestar Garden Party. Talk about counting your armless chickens before they hatch. I like to think of it as positive thinking. If I can visualize Homestar winning the race, then he will win the race. You're about to make me start positive puking. I visualized that yesterday. You know, it kind of sort of looks like this party is more about showing off your garden than celebrating Homestar's unlikely racing prowess. Don't be silly, Strombad. I never put the needs of my rhododendrons, marigolds, and okra above those of, um... Homestar. Right, Homestar. <laughs> Good old Homestar. Okay, let's see. Oh, man. My map is looking a bit undernourished. I need to throw Bub's concession stand up here somewheres. First, let's go see Coach Z about that, uh, that Snake Boxer 5 manual. That's a big old tub of H2O, just like Mama used to make. Wonder if I Yeah, yeah, whatever. A little bird with a baseball bat head tells me you've got my Snake Boxer 5 manual. Is that what that was? I was using it to scrub my No, oh, shut up, shut up! But then I sold it to Bub so he could scour his ah, I've heard enough! Alright, uh, let's check around here for treasure too. Warmer, colder, closer. There yes, we are. Another triumph for the Tarantula Black Metal Detector. I'll just leave this treasure marker here so I'll know where to dig later. I think this little patch of ground's already horked up its share of treasure today. And over to Bubs. Hey, you! With the face! Bubs! Strong oh, man! Shouldn't you be beating the snot out of Homestar or something? <laughs> How do you know about that? I'm your internet provider, ma'am. I read all your emails. Please tell me you've got my Snake Boxer 5 manual. Snake what now? <laughs> oh, Snake Box of Five! Here you go! It's the cover to my long lost Snake Box of Five manual! If I can find the rest of this thing, I'll have the cheat code that unlocks Snake Box of Five super secret forbidden mode! Hooray! Bob's concession stand is our one stop shopping center slash repair shop slash internet provider. If I ever had any money, I'd probably buy something. Bubs! Strong man! Marzipan sent me to pick up her head shears. She did? Well, that's just awesome. I got them all fixed up and ready to go. Whoa, these are pretty sweet. You sell it? I've totally rebuilt them with my patented gyroscopic Ocho Track Blade Action and passenger side airbag. Guaranteed to shave a shrub smoother than a baby's bottom. These are way too cool for marzipan. I think I'll give him a test driver 10 before I give him back to her. 
How's the fast-paced world of concession stand? Uh, standing. Business is biznasty. Have you lost weight? I sure have. This green stripe here is actually one of them weight loss jiggle belts. Want one? Um, no. Thanks for implying that I'm fat, though. Hey, no problem. <laughs> Good grief, Bubs. You've really let yourself go. Hey, ma'am, I've got a glandular problem. More like a gravy boat problem. Gotta run. Bye. Come back soon. You're always awesome. Come back soon. Box peering guy. Hey. It's the first page of my long-lost Snake Boxer 5 manual, detailing, in five sentences, the complex backstory of Snake Boxers 1 through 4. Well, let's uh, wander around the grassy green. The field. Here's the brick wall. Hi, pointless wall. Hi, strong man. Oh, here's a here's a hedge. This hedge is the disease, and I'm the placebo. Now that's a hedge I'd be proud to accompany to the Sadie Hawkins dance. Not worth throwing out the black metal detector. It is. It is, but right now I'm just taking a quick run around. Here's the stick. It's the stick! Keep on sticking it out, sticky. Good old the stick. Hey, it's the whale. You can't get ahead until you get ahead. How zen? Whale zen. So your head, please. It's the greatest day. Welcome to Bobo's. A typical Fungo god can go for weeks without showering. Fascinating. We request happy green time. For a new dynamic, please try through. I'm not through with the old one yet. <laughs> Special orders can be upsetting. Please smile for the Bobo's satellite camera. What the? Thank you. <laughs> In the event of a firestorm, the salad bar will remain open. Woo! You can't get ahead until you get ahead. How zen. So that's the whale. Wonder if there's something under. Yes! So that's where I left my Data Boy polo shirt. I better stow that in my uh, virtual photo booth wardrobe for safekeeping. Here's the photo booth. We can play around with that later, maybe, if we have time. Here's this the cool is a go-to vehicle for pretend high-speed chases, pretend road trips, and oh-so-real makeout sessions. And here's Strong Badia. Ah, the Strong Badian flag, or old snakes and tires and knives and brown, as the colonists used to call it. Hail, first citizen tire! How fair things in the glorious Republic of Strong Badia! Very good. Carry on, then. Beautiful. There was something right here in the strong bed. Yeah, here we go. Nothing over here. Warmer. Uh -huh. yes, another triumph for the tarantula black metal detector. I'll just leave this treasure marker here so I'll know where to dig later. I think this little. All right. Well, let's map our way back to Marzipan or the track. Uh, the 
track, I think. Now let's, uh, make a call. Let's see. Speed dial number one. Homestar? Hello, Montepan. Are you alright? You sound funny. <laughs> I look funny. I'm just, uh, out of breath from all the training for the race that I've been doing. Okay, so when are you going to run this race anyway? I need to know when to take the curd wrinkles out of the oven. <laughs> the curd like wrinkles. Curd wrinkles. <laughs> what was that? Nothing, lamb face. I was just saying that the race is about to start right now. Oh dear, I better hurry on over. Hooray! I'll see you soon. Don't start without me. Bye-bye! I'm home, Stow! What is it now, Homestar? I think they're really ready to start the race this time. <laughs> Are you sure? Positive! Fine, I'll be right over. Alright, well, she's out of her house, so let's see what havoc we can cause there. First, let's take these balloons. Taking marzipan's balloons, and I don't know why. Whoa, these are some pretty powerful balloons. Feel like I'm walking on the moon with these things. Smash everything Rouge Garden. Edge clip power to the maximum thrust drive, yeah! Now that's what I call an inspirational and unintentionally revealing piece of art. <laughs> Thank you for visiting Strong Band's Super Discount Cut Clips. See you again in six weeks. Rogue. Rogue Garden. Ooh, a big pile of hedge trimmings. Can't ever have enough of these. Oh, yeah, I forgot I'm supposed to pick those up. Well, what can we do to this float? Why, hello, Mr. Enormous Noggin Homestar. What can I do for you today? Nothing too fancy, Mr. Old Timey Bobble Strong Bad. Just a little bit off the top. Anything you say, sir. Oops. Whoa, that one even better than expected. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. That darn Homestar, as if I didn't have enough to do without pointlessly running back and forth what the? Homestar, did you do this? Nothing to say? <laughs> well, fine, you party-wrecking <laughs> dummy. I hope you lose your precious race to the end of the race. Man, I'd hate to be you right now, Homestar. Or would I? Better, uh, better keep that. So I can be him right now. Let's grab those hedge trimmings over at the, uh, that's nearest to the whale. There it is. Hedge clippings. Ooh, a big pile of hedge trimmings. Can't ever have enough of these. Don't worry, he's not just a crazy person. I mean, he is, but, you know. Oops. Let's see. All these lockers. Anything in any of them? 
Let's see. Full length mirror, stunner shades, $3,000 velvet training bag. Yep, this must be Pom Pom's locker, all right. Looks like Strong Mad forgot his limousine, but they're in space. Lunchbox again. No win. No That's win. an obscure no reference win. to an obscure reference right there. Hey, Homestar, you want to know how to really win the race? How? Onions! Onions? No, really. An old uh, gypsy track coach told me that the secret to running was using all-natural onion deodorant. Simply rub it all over your bad self and feel the fastiness flow through you. Ooh, those onions got on smooth and clear. Wow, thanks, strong man. I feel like I could take on the wolves. Yeah, <coughs> especially if the world is <coughs> downwind. True. And now we can ask him about his shower and... Man, you stink. Not in the metaphorical you suck kind of way, but in the literal odors that could peel the paint off a tank kind of way. Seriously, strong man. I find that very unlikely. <laughs> Great grandma's diapers. I better hit the shower again pronto. Ah, give me a chance to shield my eyes! <laughs> Ooh, if it weren't for my de cheat like reflexes, I would have had Homestar's nethers burned onto the backs of my eyeballs. <laughs> Don't be scrubbing shower fun. So Don't the middle lo locker was shower. empty. So what's that tell you? Oops. Now we can really be Homestar. Let this be a lesson, kids. Always shower with your clothes on. Or someone, meaning me, will steal them. Good advice. That kind of advice is why I still can't shower in an empty house. Do all bad, buddy? Oh boy. Whoa, mama! <laughs> Naked home star. Wonder if I should use a splash guard. My turn. Well then. Okay, so if a guy beats your time, and everyone else's time, then he gets the trophy, right? You'd think so, wouldn't you? But no! After the times have been posted, I have to send a recording of the race to the official review committee in Stockholm for verification. Then, and only then, is a new free country yada 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 champion crowned! Swedes, I hate those guys! <laughs> Let's screw up Homestar's time, shall we? Oh, hello! I'm Homestar Wano! Tunes! Games! Email! <laughs> Shut up, Homestar! Whoa! I even had myself convinced! This is gonna be hilarious! Hello, Coach Z! It is I, Homestar, and I'm ready to waste! Homestar, your head is huge! You're not on any of those illegal performance <laughs> enhancers I hear about on TV, are you? The rub? Are you on the rub? Is it the rub? Me? Homestar? Cheat? It is to laugh. Ha 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 <laughs> Oh, I needed that. Well, now that you're finally ready to go, let's begin the... Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race! Okay, as you're no doubt aware, the Free Country USA Triennial Race to the End of the Race is a race against time. Not only do you have to put up the fastest time against each other, but you also gotta beat the previous best time, as established by yours truly back in 1999 over there. Alright then, let's get started. Pom Pom, you're up first. On your marks, get set, 
Here to go! Whoa! 5.3 seconds! Not only did that beat my time, I'd say that's going to be pert near impossible to beat! Ready, Homestar? Hey, wait! Don't I get any instructions or anything? What do you need instructions for? You've been training for weeks! Oh yeah, that's right. I've been training. Run your marks, <laughs> get set, go! Uh -huh. Oh no. Come on, you can do it, strong bat, a home star. Almost. Almost halfway across. Oh man, we're gonna do it. We're almost there. I'm a champ. Wow, Homestar. That was one of the worst performances I ever seen in the race to the end of the race. You should be downright ashamed. Yeah, and embarrassed. I guess I was just too clumsy, lame, and not cool to win. You said a mouthful, youngster. Pam Pam, step into my office. We gets to fill out a bunch of paperwork before we can send the tape off to the judges. There you are, you insensitive party pooping pyromaniac. You and I are THRU through. Hey, don't think I've forgotten about your little naked escapade, you currently giant-headed hooligan! <laughs> You'll rue the day you exposed your giblets to a government official! Boo me! Well, I didn't get a chance to pummel Homestar with my fists, or beat him in a race, but I did succeed in turning him into a publicly humiliated criminal fugitive without a girlfriend. And I didn't even have to use my AK. Oh, hey, strong man. Homestar! What the crap are you doing here in my hallowed halls? Now that I'm a publicly humiliated criminal fugitive without a girlfriend, you're the only friend I've got. So I'm gonna go ahead and crash here for a couple weeks or years until I put my life back together. I run <sighs> Act two. All right, Homestar, it's time for you to go. There's no room in the House of Strong for crybabies. What about strong dads? I'm not a crybaby. I'm tormented. Okay, there's room for one crybaby in the House of Strong, and that position's been filled! Out you go! No way! I'm not leaving until my life is back to the wonderful way it used to be! Who is this irony? Is he... <laughs> is he Homestar's cousin? Can we watch something a little less yokel than local news? No way, man. I need to keep up to date on all the details of my scandalous downfall and nationwide manhunt. Dude, it's a public nudity charge. I've done more scandalous things while buying a pair of brown and tan socks. Look, there I am again. Oh, the shame. Well then. Wait a second. First of all, my face is in the wall. So that's good. But second of all, there's a, the cheat here. No one cares. Hey, turn around. <laughs> Whoa. 
What? How? How? You just... <laughs> Guess what, Homestar? Everything's all better again! Prove it. Put your hands up and back away from the Teen Girl Squad, Homestar. We don't want this situation to escalate. Not yet, Strong Man. I've got to finish my 23-volume epic graphic novel zine about a really cool guy who wins the race to the end of the race and slays a dragon and starts dating a supermodel and makes his old boring girlfriend jealous. Yeah, and... yeah, I get it. How long will it be before I can use my drawing table again? Oh, it might be a while. I still haven't figured out what to call my really cool lead character. <laughs> wow. Oh, the pain. Damn it, Homestar. Does this of 1G or 2 Shut up. What's with all the cooking? The cheat told me that the way to a woman's heart is through her stomach. So I'm endeavoring to prepare a scrumptious confection to win back marzipans alone. Sounds like a plan. How's it going? Not so good. Marzipan's vegan, and most of the food in here contains meat, milk, milky meat, or meaty milk. Hey, don't be dissing my meaty milk. <laughs> well, we've got to solve all of Homestar's problems. Does this have one G or two? Not interested. And now, what's this? I also love Homestar Runner Biggie Cheese here. Even though you here. thoroughly disgraced yourself at the race to the end of the race, rules are rules. Please enjoy this lifetime supply of Fluffy Puff Gelaton, the official second place prize of the FCU TRER. Yours truly, Coach Z. P.S. Never show your giant face around my track ever again! Hmm, Homestar will probably feel a lot better if I get rid of this unpleasant reminder of his humiliating defeat. I know I'll feel a lot better. I love gelatin. Now I've got just sacks and sacks of fluffy pub gelatin dessert. No, I'm not gonna do the hundred percent go. I've already done that before years ago. So we're just basically going through each chapter one at a time. Strong said, Raymond Jenkins, you open this door right now, or I'll, I'll, I'll. You'll what? Oh, we'll just wait till your father gets home and see what he says. You're not even my real mom. Fine. I didn't want to go in your purple room of doom and gloom anyway. When Strong Bad checks his email, a cute fish dies. Ooh, four emails. Dear Mr. Strang L. Bod, are you feeling athletically inadequate? Is your six-pack more of a pony keg? Do your muscles have less definition than a first grader's dictionary? Then why not get on the Adonis train with a crate of total load, total body fitness energy enhancement powder? Totally safe, totally organic, totally awesome! Hey, this stuff sounds great! Dear total load peoples, thank you so much for your kind offer. Although I personally am endowed with bulging biceps that have been described as bad boys, pipes, guns, and thunder bludgeons, it never hurts to get a heroically chiseled leg up on the competition. Please send me a free sample of your wonderful product immediately. Great flavor. Yours truly, Strongman. <laughs> I'm checking emails from Awesome to Zawson. My Zosso. favorite Homestar character. I'm, uh... I really enjoy Coach Z. I love the nonsense he spells. Dear Mr. Strang L. Bond, we're pleased to inform you that your free sample shipment of total load, total body energy enhancing powder has found its way to our local distributor, Bob C. Stan, and may be picked up at your convenience. Thanks again for your interest in total load, total load, total, etc., etc., incorporated, whatever. <laughs> Dear Mr. Bat, my brother and I were wondering whose head is bigger. Yours or Homestar's? Quizzically, Jay and Jim Rosen, Brooklyn, New York. 
Mm, that's a good question. I should go do some field research. Like, Strong Bad's head is bigger, unless we're talking about paper mache Homestar's head, right? Strong Bad and Bubs are good too. I don't think there's really a bad character in it. I think everyone is really great. And I do enjoy Hom Homsar, especially after this game. Hey there, every peoples. If you're one of the many bodies watching the race to the end of the race today, why not top it off with a visit to Bob's concession stand? We've got candy bars, lawn mowers, ketchup, Egyptian artifacts, and games for the kids. Look for our piles of coupons at the track. Good for one box of awesome free candy while supplies last. Bob's concession stand. We've got everything, twice. Free, oh, yeah. eh? I might be able to afford that. Oh yeah, Homsar and uh, Sonor Card Gauge are both great at Dadaism. Hey, Sir Tongbad. What's the deal with the little tie things on the back of your mask? Christine B. More like Christine D+, plus, as in you get one, in life. You know, I was gonna ask you something similar, Christine. What's the deal with that giant nose thing on the front of your face? Burn. Deleted! I probably can't get a... Deleted! Hmm... Survey says... Deleted! I never should have signed up for Bub's free weekly spam advertisements. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure I never did. Oh, would have been 02 or 03, you know, a long time ago. Pretty near, pretty near the beginning of its, uh, right around when it started to get popular, I think. So probably right around the beginning of 03. Delete it! Dear yeah, Mr. We old over here. <laughs> We're pleased to inform you that your free sample shipment of total load, total body energy enhancing powder has found its way to our low enhancing okay, tanks again. Yeah, I've already heard this dialogue. El Delito Grande! There we go. 2009. Now it's not a bad place to start either. Check this out. <laughs> Ah, I sometimes get tired of that. Yeah, it means you got to, uh... What's it called? You got to, to really binge watch it all, though. And now they're starting to bring back content again, which is as wonderful as it is surprising. It's empty now, on account of all that emptying I did earlier. Alright, let's Much head over it to- it makes me throw up a little just to think about it, it looks like I'm going to have to go to the King of Town's castle if I ever want to get Homestar out of my house. I think I'll put it somewhere far, far away from me. Alright, let's toss it in the upper left corner. I don't have any of the DVDs anymore. I had the first one, but I got lost in a move. Am I not? Is it not gonna let me? Heck. Alright. Now it's still not gonna let me go to the KOT's castle. That's. Oh. Ah, what the heck? Oh. Map's being weird. Alright. I couldn't go there right from my house, apparently. There it is! The King of Town's fairly penetrable castle fortress. Somewhere, deep inside its stinking, obstructed bowels, is the criminal record that's keeping Homestar's whiny, whiny butt glued to my couch! <laughs> right. Well, first we've got this hedge. Take that, you bush league hedge! Er, hedge league bush! Oh yeah, that's much better. And check it out, free hedge trimmings. Ooh, a big pile of hedge trimmings. Can't ever have enough of these. 
See, that's that's cool merch to have. This is uh this is one part of pop culture that I hope is remembered for centuries to come. This is this is some regular Shakespeare shit right here. Go, sir. Not happening. Getting warmer. Colder. Uh, where are you? Warmer. Bounce. Yes, another triumph for the Tarantula Black Metal Detector. I'll just leave this treasure marker here so I'll know where to dig later. All right, let's invade. Let's see now. Hall of Cheese Rhymes, Sausage Casings Room, Grand Chamber of Milk Sauce. Ah, here it is. The Hall of Records. Ah, oh, crap. It's the King of Town's personal bodyguard slash mime slash poo smith. The poop smith. I'll have to be even sneakier than usual if I want to get past him. Lucky for me, the poop smith never seems to notice anything while he's in the midst of a good old-fashioned poop shoveling. One of the Poopsmith's shovels! Score! Alright, now I can dig up treasure. Ah, it's still warm! Oh shit. Poopsmith is after me. Let's uh, hide behind this privacy screen, shall we? Thank goodness for this conveniently placed privacy screen! What's that? And on to the next room. That is urine. By the power of the brown skull. Uh oh. Oh, crunch. Dog, 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 dog. Well, strong man is guard, guard, guard guarding me. Uh, hey, brother strong man. Are you here to help me steal Homestar's record? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Gotta try that again. Stealth Strong Bad comes with everything you see here. Now you see him, now you don't. Only from cheap ass free toys. Poop is on the move! Alright, alright. On over. Oh, hey, it's, uh,. Strong mad. Hey, it's Homestar's criminal record! I'll just scoop it up and that's where they're all out! This is gonna hurt. Oh! Ah! Ow! Looks like once again I'll have to use my mighty strong bad brain! I should probably just start doing that in the first place from now on. Shocked they didn't do a Metal Gear exclamation point. Well, they did have uh, Poop Smith hold up in a, a sign with exclamation points on it. That's pretty close. The King of Town's castle is a monument to food. Kind of like the King of Town himself. Let's see. How is this done? Ah, there it is. Activate cloaking shield! Wow, 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 wow. Strong man will never let me get that record while he's in the room. Alright, I gotta let... 
Get plunged, Drainy! What happened to the poop sounds? Oh, Crunchberries. Foot stop, foot stop, foot stop, foot stop! That vent undoubtedly leads to all sorts of hidden, strong, bad sized crawl spaces. Too bad I can't reach it. And through the alert! Oh, now no. take it easy, big fella. Ah! Oof. I should probably quit doing that. What with the drain damage and all. Hmm. All right. Doing something wrong here. Uh, nope. Still can't reach it. Activate cloaking shield. Wow, 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 wow. Ah, right. Here we go. Oh, crunch. Now I get dog, strong dog, man out of dog, there. Dog. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump. Up into the vent. That's where the alert. Ah, no intruder alerts here, brother. Alert. It's a good thing Strongman doesn't have a neck, or he might be able to look up. <laughs> At Independent Start College Thursday Nougat Day, which will be filled with rich, creamy nougat. Aha! Now for some for real, uninterrupted cat burglar action! I swear, Gloves, this is the last time you'll have to touch evidence of Naked Homestar. Hi there, sailor. <laughs> We're running Ta-da! Well, I didn't end up with the bags of cash or the bags of cash-shaped diamonds that I usually score when I cat burgle, but at least I finally got my gloves on Homestar's stupid criminal record. Now maybe I can get him off my couch and away from my television. All right, that's one Homestar down and two to go. Also, let's dig. Now I'll find out what kind of fat loot the king keeps buried just to the left of his castle. <laughs> Whoa! It's pages 2 through 49 of my long lost snake boxer 5 manual. Who knew it took so many guys to build one of these things? How do you key grip a snake boxer game? That's, that's a question I've often wondered myself while slowly falling asleep. Uh, let's see, there's another treasure over in Strong uh, Badia. Huh? Alright, Strong Badia, prepare to cough up your ancient mysteries! Whoa, dang! Hey, it's one of my cool ideas for Team Girl Squad! Drawn on an apparently somewhat metallic note card! Might be some, uh, some lead content. That's all I'm saying. All right, front yard, hit me with your best shot. What the? Sweet, holy, Trogdor! It's the last page of my long lost Snake Boxer 5 manual, which contains, easy strong bad, the secret code to unlock the secret forbidden level. That's exciting. We'll come back to that later. All right. Does the spell have one G or two? Down to the basement. Hey, look, it's a the cheat. <laughs> no one cares. Hey, look at that thing over there. <laughs> oh, hi, dog man. Oh. Nope. 
Uh, no. <sighs> Shut up. Hey, take a look at this. What is it? It's the one and only copy of your criminal record, stolen by Awesome Strongbad out from under the King of Town's butter-stained nose. I don't believe it. Awesome Strongbad could never pull that off. <laughs> If you don't believe me, then believe the all-knowing wisdom of local television news. Cats wearing clown costumes really do make a difference. Thanks for that important story, Mindy. In other news, citizens were shocked today when the King of Town's Hall of Records was brazenly burglarized by an unknown masked assailant. He took everything, everything, cleaned the place out. Without the criminal <laughs> records, the King admits that he has no institutional memory of any crimes being I'm free to show my face in public again. And maybe the rest of me, too. You nasty. Finally, the TV belongs to its one true master again. All right. <laughs> Holy pixelated Trogdor. What's that? <laughs> Who can resist? All right, now we have to get him away from the drawing table and out of the kitchen. <sighs> well, for the uh, drawing table, that's where he's fantasizing about getting his sports stuff back. So let's head down to the track. Actually, don't we have an order at Bubs's? And now for our next Let's event, go grab that dig right after China. digging this up. Whoa, shit, shit. Another Team Girl Squad idea card? Another totally not metal object. Nice work, Detector. Let's go pick up our total load. Wanna buy some? Everybody wanna buy some? Bubs! Strong bad! Is my shipment of total load, total body fitness, energy enhancement powder shown up yet? Total load? Nope. What? That's so... Oh, wait, here it is! All right, total load. The total body fitness, energy enhancement powder used by all my favorite disgraced athletes. And, oh yeah, that free candy. Do you have any candy? It's a long story. Do I have any candy? Candy makes up over 900% of my gross profits. I got chocolate candy, vanilla candy, tainted candy, real candy, pretend candy. Got any free candy? Free? Who do you think I am? Some kind of don't charge anything for candy mandy? Um, yes. You're right. I've been giving away free candy coupons all day over at the track. I bet you can still find some there before the squirrels get them. Need a coupon Smile for later, it. Bubs. Stay gold, strong man. Let's see. Ah, those look like coupons. And they're labeled coupons. What's this? Free candy coupon. Do you love candy? Do I? Want to savor the sweet taste of victory long after the race to the end of the race is over? Then come on down to Bob's concession stand with the coupon and receive a free box of awesome candy. Limit one per customer. Void. Where prohibited. I love candy. I'm saving this baby for later. <laughs> Don't charge anything for candy. Mandy was my favorite failed super age, silver age superhero. Mine too, sweetie. All right. Well, what can we do to improve Homestar's time? Obviously, we're going to have to race for him. Which means we're going to have to, first of all, we're going to have to get rid of Pom Pom's record. 
because 5.3 seconds, there's no way. Then we're gonna have to make this easy enough so that Strong Bad can beat Coach Z's record. How do we do that? Well, we've got a lot of gelatin dessert powder. Hey, now there's an idea. Everyone loves gelatin. I'll just open this envelope. No one will notice it. Hmm, this might take a while. Hey, to cheat. Mm -hmm. Take these 143 bags of powdered gelatin and get to mixing. Mm -hmm. When it's done, it's tons of fun. J E L A T O N. Don't sing my song. <laughs> You're a mixing machine, the cheat. Oh, what was what was the terrifying Jello Marshy named? Some balloons here on the Heavy Lord. Why so grim, Heavy Lord? You really should lighten up. Jellarshi, yeah. Strong Bed says something really funny if you delete the tape off the camera three times before actually winning the race. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Looks like Coach Z left the official tape of the race to the end of the universe. Or race in here. I wonder what will happen if I mash this button. That smoke looks like my cue to hide. All right, then I'll just uneventfully send that tape off to the Swedes and... Bruce Jenner's tube socks! What the heck happened to my tape? Without a fat tape of the race, I got no official results. Guess we'll just have to rerun the race then. Aww. Now where'd Homestar run off to? That was easy. Welcome to the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race! Wait a minute, didn't I just do this a few hours ago? <laughs> it's a long story. Okay, Pom Pom, you're up first. One for the honey, two for the dough, three to eat cheddar, and four to go! Holy gorge! 5.3 seconds again! Ain't nobody gonna beat it that time. Homestar? Eeny, meeny, kidney, beeny, go! All right. Cool. All right. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so tired. Well, that was a pant load. Come on, Pam Pam. Let's go back to filling out those forms. I think we're almost to the embarrassing medical questions part. My favorite. All right, two more times. Again, right? I'll never win this blankety blank trophy with pom pom blankety blanking things up. That's better. Being Homestar for too long at a time can cause serious brain damage. I mean, just look at Homestar. All right, let's uh, let's erase the tape again. I wonder if this will work again. Okay, now let's nonchalantly get this tape <laughs> off to the Swedes and... Oh, crinkles, not again. Homestar, we're running it again. Welcome once again to the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race. Pam, pam. One, two, three, four. I clear a petty four. Go! <laughs> Let me see. Yup, 5.3 seconds. You're a machine, pam, pam. Homestar? On your blah, 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 just go already. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, oof. Apparently not going to speak his line. Oh, 
What? Did the dialogue stop? The rest of the sound is working. That's not good. Oh my god, the dialogue broke. Oh no. Alright, well, we can fix this. We can save load. Like, the sound's working, it's just the dialogue. Now let's try loading. Alright, is the dialogue working now? I think this little patch yep. of ground's already horked up its share of treasure today. Alright, easy fix. That was scary. I'll just happy go luckily grab that tape and oh I should have known. <laughs> oh, I'm star. It's a good thing that Coach Z doesn't actually, you know, learn things from his past experiences. <laughs> Welcome, once again, <laughs> to the free country USA triannual race to the end of the race. Pam pam. One, two, three, four. I eclair a petty four. Go. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yup. 5.3 seconds! You're on your blah blah blah! Just go already! Ta da! <laughs> Alright! Boing! <laughs> so tired! Well, that was a pant load. Come on, Pam Pam. Let's go back to filling out those forms. I'm missing medical questions part. I get paid for doing this again, right? I'll never win this blankety blank trophy with Pom Pom blankety blanking things up. Whew. It's good to be back to my freakishly awesome self again. All right. So I guess the funny thing was when he said Coach Z doesn't learn from past experiences, I enjoyed that a lot. Let's see, we gotta rearrange these things. Whoa! This quart of curdled milk is surprisingly heavy! Must be some curds! Alright, this is wrong. That's all right. I can I can fix it. Jeez, this is some heavy metal. Must be made out of osmium or manganese for Black Sabbath. <laughs> Just like real life. All right, now we got to get pom pom out of the way. It's a good thing we have these uh, performance enhancing drugs. Just uh, see if we can slip those into his locker or something. Looks like Homestar's locker's been sealed up by the fuzz after all that indecent exposuring. No, no, get, get. I wonder. Putting performance enhancing energy powder in Strong Mad's lunch pail is kinda like taping a firecracker <laughs> to an atomic bomb. But what the heck? <laughs> that is... That's good stuff. I'll just sprinkle some of this illegal performance enhancing energy powder in Pom Pom's exercise bag. Not that his performance really needs enhancing. And now let's go tattle. Strong man, what can I do for you this fine and dandy afternoon? 
So, Coach, what do you have to say about all those rumors of performance-enhancing powders, juices, and uh, snack cakes being snarfed up by your athletes? What do I say? I say you got a lot of nerve waggling your talk tongue at me like that. In fact, I'll prove my guys are clean by searching through their lockers right now! How trusting? <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, strong man! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> What have I told you about using this total load, total body energy enhancer powder stuff? Only on Tuesdays! <laughs> and what day is it today? Uh, Happy New Year! <laughs> Close enough? Now get this stuff out of here, okay? Old Lang Syne! That was amazing. Now that is one smart kid. Thanks for clearing that up, Strong Bad. Who knows what kind of what's it storm Strong Bad would have unleashed if he went off his schedule. <laughs> well, we gotta get him to look at a uh, pom pom. Well, locker. if it isn't Strong Bad, what can I do you for? I hate to say it, Coach, but I hear the Swedes aren't happy about those total load rumors. What do they want? Blood? Fine, I'll search through the lockers again. Stupid paranoid Swedes insulting the man's integrities. Let's see. Nope, nothing in here. Next. Ooh, that's a ripe one. Next. Hey now, what's this powder here? <laughs> what in Cypress Hill? Bam bam. Now I expect this kind of unsportsmanlike behavior from the chart. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you were made of sterner fluff. Don't play innocent with me. I know the sweet, seductive flavor of total load, total body enhancement energy powder when I taste it. No, no, I've seen enough. The Swedes will never accept a dime from a contestant who's on the load. <clears throat> Clean out your locker, fam I'm the load. You're true. Well, it looks like I'm still the race to the end of the race champion. Too bad Homestar was such a loser. With Pam Pam disqualified, he actually might have had a chance. Yes, it is too bad. Wait, what am I talking about? All right, now let's win the race to the end of the race. Hmm. Looks like Coach Z left the official tape of the race to the end of the universe. Uh. Race, in here. I wonder what will happen if I mash this button. That smoke looks like my cue to hide. Alright then, I'll just uneventfully send that tape off to the Swedes and... Bruce Jenner's tube socks! What the heck happened to my tape? Without a fat tape of the race, I got no official results! Guess we'll just have to rerun the race then. Now where'd Homestar run off to? That was easy. Welcome to the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race! Ooh, deja vu. <laughs> okay, Homestar, since Pom Pom turned out to be on the juice, you're the only entrance. All you have to do is beat my time and the trophy's all yours. I'll try not to be so slow and low this time. I promise. On your sets, get marked, go! All right! <laughs> nice! Yeah, baby! Easy. <laughs> hey, what do you know, Homestar? You actually beat my time! Good for you! I owe it all to clean Living. <laughs> and with that dirty, no good cheating pom pom disqualified, that makes you the winner of. 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 hey! What? Oh, yes! The Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race! Let's go fill out those forms. Um, am I done now? Homestar, it is my honor as the king of town to award you the silver trophy of ultimate destiny for your spectacular performance in the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race! To 
today I consider myself the luckiest dork on the face of this earth. And that's a wrap. Where my limo at? Hey, where's that turtle going? That's it? Where's the marching bands? The hot babes? The endorsements? And sports suck? Whew, it's good to be back to my freakishly awesome self again. All right. Let's, uh... Well, first of all, let's trim this hedge. It's time for you to sweat off a few of those excess pounds, hedge boy. God, uh... Whoa, what the crap was that? Trophy! Ooh, Here, the strong bad have a trophy. Can't ever have enough of these! Do, do, do. I guess I could have just used the map. The map, sir! As we learned from our last game. Bubs' stand, the track, photo booth, KOT's castle. Well, let's see, I gotta get some candy, right? Since I got these coupons. Hey, hey, hey! Step right up and trade your money for some stuff! That's a good slogan! I should use that. Hook me up with some of the delicious free candy, Bubs. Awesome! I think Winslow would mm, love this map. Choco Ops. What the crap are Choco Ops? Because you point to it. Packing peanuts. Chocolate covered organic packing peanuts. What kind of candy is that? The kind of candy that I give away to people for free, dummy. <laughs> Good call, Bubs. Good call. Well, um... See you later, Customator! Now I've got some organic candy from Marzipan, though, right? Just a minute! What's oh, this? no! A box of chocolate? Oh no, whatever that will we do? Delicious. Yes? Hmm. Present, present, king of town, grumble, mumble. Well, we're gonna need more chocolate, first of all. And then we're gonna need to dig a hole. What a gross, gross man. <laughs> you are so many kinds wanna of right. Everybody wanna buy some. All right, let's grab this coupon. I'll take another box of Choco Ops, my good man. What happened to the last one I gave you? I, um, threw it down a hole. Hey, why didn't I think of that? Here, <laughs> feel free to throw this one down a hole, too. Oh, Bubs is great. Tell your friends! Alright, over to Marzipan's house. Uh, now we're gonna dig a hole. And just to make sure that he doesn't go around it. Hmm, seems like a perfect place for a montage. Beautiful. Whoa, that went a lot faster than I thought. And that's what montages are for, Strong Bad. Let's uh, cover it with hedge no clippings. Way. No, cover it with hedge clippings. Who puts the clippings on the hole? It's Strong Bad. It's Strong Bad. Presto! A trap fit for a king! Or at least I hope he fits. It's all good. Let's put these on the door or the porch again. Just a minute. Ah, chocolate! One of my several hundred culinary weaknesses. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look, a box of Bub's Fair Trade chocolate. Homestar, it's Marzipan. I want you to know that while I'm still a little bit sore that you burned down most of my backyard, I've accepted your chocolate apology and am prepared to be your girlfriend again. Goodbye. Man, that must be some potent, funky, cold my chocolate. All right. Can I do this bit yet? I remember this bit distinctly. Hey there, Xenon. We are just approaching the end as you show up, actually. Pom, pom. Got about probably 15, I'm 20 so more minutes. I'm so sorry to hear you've been disqualified, Pom Pom. I guess I get all your girlfriends then. But send them to Strongbad's house. Bye! This could be good. Hey there! You've reached the cordless cell phone! And definitely not the public payphone of Coach Z! Leave me a message after the fed beeps! Hello there, Coach. This is Homestyle 1 -oh. I just think you should know that it was me, Homestyle, who's been putting itching powders in your jock strap for the past three years. Well, that should get me off the hook. But the creepy thing is, Coach Z's never actually complained about it. <laughs> Aha, here we go. Hey, where'd this one come from? I'm a crudely drawn cupcake. Don't forget your tape sickle. Uh, that was completely meaningless and made my brain throw up. <laughs> See if it's different this time. Don't forget your tapesicle. Hey there! Hello! How's the weather down there? Can I trouble you to send me down a glass of buttermilk and a spear? I'm getting awfully hungry and the mole queen wants to make me her consort. Uh, yeah. I'll get right on that. I know that he is a terrific athlete. Nah. Aw, oh, I can't fill in the hole. I wanted to bury the king of town alive. Alright, now let's get Homestar the hell out of my house. Oh, the pain. Does Dispel have- Not interested! All right, we need to give him the race trophy. Hmm, this will require some strategery. Hey, look at that thing over there. A thing? Well. <laughs> hey, Dumpwad, wake up. Oh, wait, why? Oh, crap. I just had a wonderful dream where I won the race to the end of the race. But Homestar, it wasn't a dream, see? You really did win the race to the end of the watch of a call it. I did? But how? How should I know? Maybe you were sleep running or something. Yes, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> well, it looks like my 23 part graphic novel can wait for another day. Finally! I was starting to think I'd never get to maim another badly drawn teen girl ever again. Alright, and the last one. Does Dispel have one G or two? Hey, Homestar! Look who found your cell phone! What would I want with a phone? It's not like anyone will ever call me again. Anyone? Not even Marzipan? Homestar, it's Marzipan. I want you to know that while I'm still a little bit sore that you burned down most of my backyard, I've accepted your chocolate apology and am prepared to be your girlfriend again. Goodbye. The candy walked? 
Away! Wait a minute. When did I give her candy? You don't remember? You sent me over to her house a few hours ago with a big box of chocolate-covered organic packing peanuts. Oh yeah, that sounds like something I do. So what am I doing in your kitchen now with all this cooking stuff? Beats the crap out of me. Well, I'll just go then. Yes, please. At last, the kitchen and all its four-year-old condiments are mine again. <laughs> hey, do you hear that? That, my hot ladies, was the sweet sound of Homestar's tuchus being surgically removed from my house. You hear that house? It's just you and me. So there you have it, Monsoor Manur, the video Surprise! game. What the? Whoopee! Whoopee! I'll deny you oxygen to your lungs if you don't get out of here. Normally, I'd be bouncing on these pizzas like the cheat on a wounded Twinkie. But I draw the line at veggie pizzas. Especially veggie pizzas with olives and extra king of town slobber. Hey. <sighs> Never mind. Ew. Hey. He's even more ravenous than usual. Almost like he spent the last few hours in a deep dark hole or something. <laughs> what are you doing here, Bubs? You hate Marzipan's parties. Yeah, but I love the stuff in your fridge. All right, got me there. What do you think you're doing here? Thanks for throwing this pratty. I love pratties. I thought the Homestar Victory Party was gonna be at your house. It was, but then some not very nice person torched most of my very nice decorations. Boo. Oh yeah, sorry about that. It was for the greater good. The greatest good, in fact. You, you know, know, mine. All right. Well, how can we get people out of here? That ain't gonna work. Sounds like Coach Z has forced another one of his demos onto the world. All right. That's a that's a bit more lively. I've had just about enough of that. Let's see what else is in there. Oh joy, it's that copy of Jane's ostentatious chamber music jam. I'd like to use this CD as a chamber pop. Mr. Dawson! <laughs> well, we need to find a different CD, don't we? Luxalounger powers, activate! Luxalounger powers, activate! Is it already in the CD player? I feel real dumb right now. Oh, what's this? Yep, there it is. The cheats assorted Latin rhythms? All right, coggle eye, everybody. <laughs> all right. Well, since they all go by that window, and there's a banana peel over here. A banana peel? Sweet! The king of town must have been pretty desperate to eat something as healthy as this. What are banana peels for? Well, everyone knows that banana peels are for making people slip out windows. <laughs> Die! 
That's what happens when you mess with General Flex My Packs. That, that's me. I sometimes call myself General William Flex My Packs. Now maybe I can get some freaking peace of quiet around here. Ow, my snot! <laughs> so there you have it, Monsoor <laughs> Manor, the video game adaptation of how I finally beat the snot out of Homestar in the most direct and least convoluted way. Man, I'm <laughs> awesome. Eat snail, strong bad. So you see people, that's why you can't, no you can't, uh, handle my style because it's hot. So please allow 10 to 15 minutes for it to properly cool before you try and handle my style. Dun dun dun. So that is Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People, Episode 1, Homestar Ruiner. We got the next four episodes coming up over the next four weeks, each Friday. Since we're doing this uh, five-day schedule thing, and it seems to be working out pretty well so far. No one feels overworked or anything. I hope everyone enjoyed that as much as I did. Now, I do have an announcement. We've been talking about it for a little while now, but uh, my wife and I are going to be hosting on this channel unofficially mind you we're not affiliated but we're going to be hosting the uh hood slam uh what's the event femmed out which is just some really awesome it's a smaller uh pro wrestling uh god my brain is not working today at all i'm sorry it's raining <laughs> But it's a really, it's a smaller wrestling promotion out of California. And uh, they're just going to be doing all this gender fuckery fun stuff for a couple hours tomorrow, starting at 10.30 p.m. Central. And we're going to be hosting it here. And anyone who has questions can ask them to me or my wife in the chat. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope to see you guys there. We got a trailer here. I'll start talking again after it's over. Friends and losers, my long incarceration has taught me that we can never be truly free until we reject the fat authority of the king of town. Hence, to forthwith, I shall only refer to him as the of town. As of today, Strongbadia is its own independent nation. Onward to Strongbadia. Strongbadia, the free. Hey, that's the name of this. Tra Strong Baddy of the Free. Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. Awesome. New episode every month. Fire <laughs> so, yeah. As I was saying, we're going to be doing that tomorrow, 1030 Central. Hope to see you there. Um, spread the word to other people who like to watch the channel, because I know there's a lot of people who have been interesting in getting into, you know, something fairly simple with pro wrestling, and WWE's just not a great option anymore. Uh, I see we just got new people coming into the chat, but we are literally just ending. <laughs> Anyone who's interested in keeping up with us in the future, um, you can hit that follow button and follow the five of us here on the Squirrel Lily channel. We got, uh, let's see, my wife is plays Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and she's finishing up, what's the, what's the game, Saints Row 3, like I said, my brain's not working. We got Andrea, my sister, playing uh, near Automata. We got Sue, my other sister, playing uh, what's that game called? Dark Souls 3. And we got my other sister still playing Lego City Undercover. And of course we got me every Friday playing another episode of Strong Bad School Game for Attractive People. Ah. I just want you all to know I appreciate all of you just to death. I'm always glad when people show up. I'm 
glad if you want to talk in the chat or if you just want to sit and watch. We we do this for you guys and to some extent ourselves, but you know, when it's, it's a lot less fun when there's it's a lot less fun when there's no one in the chat. So uh, hit that follow button if you want to keep up with us, or don't if you uh, don't want to keep up with us. That's cool, too. I don't want to force your hand or nothing. In the meantime, we will see you next time, which in this case is tomorrow, which is weird because Saturday is usually a day off. <laughs> All right, we'll see you around. <laughs>